Hi, Mothrex students. This is Miss Caitlin. Actually, been pretty good. Um, although I miss being at Mozart and seeing all of you in person um, and having that amazing connection with you um, in the lesson rooms, um, I've been doing pretty well um, with a little bit of my extra time. I've been reading a lot of new books. I'm currently reading a book about space, about Albert Einstein, and um, I've been cooking quite a lot. I've been making um, like homemade foods that normally I would just buy from the store or restaurant. And um, I've been spending a lot of times with um, my, spending a lot of time with my parents and with my two cats. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually pleasantly surprised at um, how online lessons have been. Um, I've done a, a little bit of online um, teaching before, um, but this is the most I've ever done. And um, I'm really surprised um, one, how I was able to adapt to it. Like it was a very quick transition, but um, I got my bearings down and I'm, I'm really more shocked at how the students were able to adapt. Um, most of my students have been doing pretty well. Um, I actually have some students that maybe are doing a little bit better than they were before. Maybe they're uh, more comfortable in their own space, but I've been really, really shocked to see um, how great you all have been doing. And um, I, as much as I miss it being in person, it, and it doesn't, it's not a perfect replacement for in-person lessons. It's been going way better than I could ever have imagined. Um, uh, teaching online has, has been my saving grace. Um, it is my, my main form of work and of income. So I'm really grateful that I've, I've been able to keep a job through this crisis because I know that so many people have either had their hours cut or like completely lost their job. And um, I can't even, be grateful enough um, to Mozart for, you know, making this transition e even possible so that those of us that rely on this for our main income still have it. Um, and, um, you know, for the, the parents that, you know, are still able to continue with the lessons and the students that, um, you know, are, are willing to step forward into that transition with us, um, even with their online schooling. That I know that that's been like a, a big challenge, but Everyone's been doing really well with it. And um, yeah, I'm super, super grateful. Like I am, I am earning an income from my music, but it's not, it's not, um, it's not enough to support, um, you know, my, my bills and my um, rent and my car payment and things like that. So I'm super grateful that I still have this um, resource and this opportunity um, to help me get through this rough time. As a musical artist, I have a musical project um, uh, where I'm like a solo artist and I have some band members that I play with and some producers that I work with. But um, yeah, I'm working on um, music for that. I released an EP um, in February um, called Soft and, I, and that's under my artist project, Anabla. This, this specific EP is available on, on basically every streaming platform. So if you use Apple Music, or iTunes to purchase music, or you use Spotify, even Amazon Music, Google Play, um, Tidal. You can go to whatever your streaming service is and just look up Anabla. You don't have to use the accent in the A, it should still show up just A N N A E L A. Um, and if you wanted to type soft too, that would you know, bring it up faster. But yeah, you can just look that up on any streaming service. Um, I do have a Facebook page as well, it's just Anabla Music Official. Um, so all the links are on that page, I have an Instagram as well, um, yeah. everything's under the same name, so if you just look up Anabla, even in Google, most of it should pop up um, immediately, you don't have to do too much digging. <laughs> definitely really excited there have been a lot of students that I haven't seen in a long long time and I have like a, a Google sheet that has a list of all my students you know what they're working on at the moment and things like that and there are a lot of names that are like grayed out right now because I haven't seen them in like months now and um, I'm just really eager to see those students that have been on a break um, you know get them re-engaged in um, learning new things in music because I'm sure they've hopefully they've been you know still kind of experimenting while they've been at home themselves but I'm really excited to dive into new things with kids that maybe have had a little break um, and um, the kids that I've been teaching online I can't wait to see them in person 
um, and just encourage them even more and also congratulate them for like being able to do this transition. That's been really huge. Um, and, um, yeah, I just, I just can't wait to see everyone in person and, um, probably not give hugs, but, but, you know, see them in person and, um, give them air hugs and air high fives and things like that. And, um, be able to, you know, be a little bit more um, personal with them in, in the same room, but safely, of course. <laughs> um, I miss you all so dearly. It's been so long since I've seen all of you, and um, I really hope that you've had um, a fun time doing school at home and online, and that you've been having fun spending time with your family and staying safe, and um, I really cannot wait to see you all soon. Um, I hope that you've been playing around at home with your uh, musical instruments um, and um, I cannot wait to see you again so that we can get to learning new songs and to advancing to the next level, to the next book, maybe to the purple book or the blue book or to the red book soon. I cannot wait till we can um, work towards new goals and get ready for recitals at some point this year because we are going to have some more recitals and I can't wait for us to plan those and um, I hope to see you all um, very very soon.